start with a comment from the coach. If you have a question, let me know. And I'll use How's everybody today? Good. Good. Well, just, you know, a quick uh, summary. Um, you know, it's important when you play in um, – difficult games against good opponents on the road, that you finish plays, that you finish drives, that you finish the game, uh, whether it be on offense, defense, or special teams. And, um, you know, we, we, we did not do that very well in this game. Um, turned the ball over the last two times we had it. Uh, had very costly penalties. Uh, made a couple mental errors on defense. Um, and... You know, when you play against good teams in tough situations, it's difficult to overcome. So the question now becomes the same thing that, that I said after the game. You know, how do you respond to a, to a loss? Um, and everybody's got to ask themselves the questions from the coaches right on down, starting with me. You know, who's making this team better? Um, I, I'm, I'm talking about how you affect other people, how you help other people play better, how you help other people get better. Uh, how we get more players involved in being able to play, you know, winning football, regardless of, you know, whether we play out in the parking lot, on the road, you know, in Bryant-Denny Stadium, uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, but the two games that we played, you know, on the road, I don't think that, you know, we played with the same kind of energy and enthusiasm for whatever reasons, uh, which is something that, you know, each player has got to be able to challenge himself to do. I'm not saying we didn't play hard. I'm not saying we had guys loafing. That wasn't the case. But uh, I just mean to finish things, to finish things, to make the kind of plays that, you know, we need to, to make to be the kind of team that we can be. Um, you know, we had some players of the week. Cam Robinson really played well. T.J. Yeldon played very well on defense. Xavier Dixon and Reggie Ragland had really good games. And uh, Ashawn Robinson with a – field goal block and J.K. Scott did a great job of punting uh, so those guys are you know the players of the week um, injuries you know Kenyon Drake and Denzel DeBall both had surgeries um, you know Kenyon obviously not obviously but is probably a little worse in terms of his injury and his recovery time uh, Denzel not probably as bad um, you know, possibility of maybe three or four weeks, you know, having a chance to um, get him back. Um, you know, Ryan Kelly uh, has a sprained knee, which we talked about before. Uh, he's probably going to be at least a couple weeks, uh, depending on how his rehab goes as to when we can, you know, possibly get his, him back. So, you know, these, these guys are all – all these guys have been really good players for us, and they've made a great contribution to, you know, our team uh, in many different ways. Uh, but, you know, as always, when you lose players, it creates opportunities for other players. And um, this is, you know, obviously a situation where we're going to need some other guys to step up big, you know, to take um, the roles of what these guys have been able to accomplish and do. You know, Arkansas is um, – really probably the most improved team in the country in terms of if you want to compare from last year to this year um, you know they've they've really played very very well all season long uh, had a great chance to beat A&M um, came up a little short in the end um, been dominating in terms of the way they've been able to run the football um, and really pass it effectively when they've needed to. Uh, the quarterback's playing really well for them. they got two really, really good running backs. Their offensive line is um, not only big, um, they, they, they do a really, really good job of executing uh, what they do. They've only given up one sack all year long. Uh, a lot of that probably has to do with the fact that they run the ball very well and don't get in a lot of situations where you can even try to pressure the quarterback because uh, you're always worried about playing the run. Um, and this is probably, you know, the best, you know, overall offensive running team that we faced all year long, no question, with the capability to make big plays throwing the ball. Uh, defensively, I think they're, you know, much improved as well. Um, you know, better up front, better in the secondary. 
Um, really, you know, play hard, play with a lot of toughness. This is a very physical team on both sides of the ball. Uh, so this is going to be a very challenging game. I mean, um, the, the, these guys are a, a very, very good football team, and our, our team is going to have to play um, as well as we played and continue to improve to be able to have success, especially on the road. Coach, I have two. First, um, just to follow up on Kenyon, what, what exactly did they tell you had to be done and, and what is his prognosis? Well, uh, you know, I, I, I think that's a better question for the medical staff. I, I don't want to say anything that wouldn't be correct, but uh, I think it's a very similar injury to what Derrick Henry had in spring practice a couple years ago. Um, so... I think it's very similar to the surgery I had when I was a player, you know, where they sort of, you know, you break your leg and your ankle's dislocated and you actually pin the two together. But that's not a lot of medical expertise, you know, there. But um, I think it would be a better question for the medical staff. And I, I think probably eight to ten weeks before he really can start, you know, doing things, um, that would allow him to be able to even think about um, being able to play football again. Okay, and um, going back to the game briefly, just specifically on kickoff return, you had your last two, you had a fumble, you had a block in the back. Is, is that an area where there could be some changes in who the returners are or what changes are you looking at? Well, you know, we've had a lot of success with the returner that we have, but, you know, the disappointing thing, one of the disappointing things to me about our team is we have made more emphasis on ball security and getting turnovers this year than I can ever remember in all the time I've been a coach. All right? And we continue to not carry the ball correctly uh, and turn the ball over. Uh, and we have not been able to attack the football well enough when we play defense and on special teams to create turnovers. So this is something that we'll continue to emphasize. Uh, I think if we continue to have issues in these areas, uh, we have other people that are more capable uh, because ball security is of utmost importance. In the kicking game especially, I know guys want to make plays, all right, but it's our ball. All right, we just stop them on a punt return, and we get a punt return. All right, so it's a great plus if we can gain 10, 12 yards like we got a first down on the return. Same thing with field position on a kickoff return. But there's nothing more important than ball security because we lose a possession if we don't take care of the football. So, and that's been emphasized and will continue to be emphasized so that you know, hopefully we can reverse this trend of you know, a negative turnover ratio every week. Kenyon seemed to bring a lot to the table, whether he, he could run routes, going out wide and everything. How, how important was that versatility and, and just his presence in the backfield? Well, you know, Kenyon's got a lot of production for us, and he's done a really good job all year long. And I don't think there's any question about the fact that, you know, when you lose a player like that, it does have some impact. But I do think that we have other players that can do those things, and now they're going to get the opportunity to do it, and we're going to have to have some other people to step up. And you guys have, you guys, as a follow up, you guys have, have overcome losses in the regular season before and still managed to accomplish all your goals. Does that, do you bring that up to your players or you just want the focus on immediately, you know, improving now, short term? Well, I think it's all about how do you respond to the loss. You know, if you respond to the loss the right way and do the right things to fix what you need to fix so that we can get better as a team, that's going to give us the opportunity to be successful. Look, playing in our league all right, is like climbing a mountain, you know, and every game is a critical game. Every game is an important game, and every team that you play, I think, in our division could beat anybody. All right, so, uh, and there's some very, very good teams in our league, including the one that we're playing this week. So people make assumptions that just because it's a certain team that you beat for the last 10 years that you're going to beat them again. And I, I don't think that's necessarily true, uh, especially this year, especially in the competition that we have. So we need to play really well every week, and we need to improve every week. And, you know, sometimes when you have 
things that you have to overcome, which injuries are one, I, but lack of execution and turning the ball over are things that happen on the field uh, that we have to do a much better job of as well. At center, you had Bradley Bozeman in there for the end of the game. Is there any, any other players you'll be looking at that position, or is, that, is this going to be kind of his Well, general? it's not a position where you can just throw a guy in and say, okay, you play center now, you know, that you never played before. All right, you just got to snap the ball. You, you, you have to be able to step and snap the ball. Most players who haven't played center are not accustomed to doing that. Uh, Bozeman and uh, Josh Kasher are now the two guys, and J.C. Hausenhauer are guys that we have that are centers, and we're going to have to develop them at centers. We can't just move a, the right tackle to center and say, be a center. It doesn't work that way. All right, and I wish we could so we could, you know, sort of always have our five best guys out there. But the center is the one position right, that a guy has to, uh, whether it's shotgun snaps, you know, quarterback center exchange, uh, there's a lot of things that need to happen correctly before you ever go block the guy you have to block. And, you know, it's just not something where, you know, th th this is, these are the guys that we've tried to develop at this position, so that's the way we have to go right now. I got a couple. Um, you've worked a few guys out at right guard. Given the, some of the issues you've had there at times with mental breakdowns, penalties, what's your plan going forward for right guard? Well, we have to make the guys that are playing there better. Uh, I think Leon actually played better in this game, uh, to his credit. Um, Shank got an opportunity to play, and he actually played better all right, in this game. So, um, you know, that's the key to the drill is we don't have another player. You know, I know for fans, there's always hope. You know, put the other quarterback in. Kick the other kicker. Well, if they were better, we'd play them to start with. All right, so we have to make the people that we have better. And they're capable of playing better, and we're certainly going to do everything we can to support them and helping them do that. And secondly, uh, how's Grant Hill, and he, will he be available this week? Uh, he's still ill. We're, hope, we're hopeful to get him back, you know, at some point in time this week. But, you know, we're, we're kind of leaving that pretty much up to him and the medical staff to make that decision. It's a little bit uh, back to the future going with the style of play Arkansas plays. Uh, can you discuss that a little bit? You're familiar with defending it, obviously, and going against it. But how does that affect what you try to do? Well, th this is, you know, I never thought that I would be here as a coach in my lifetime as a coach that running regular I formation plays and running the ball out of regular two wide receivers, two backs in the backfield would, would be the anomaly right, of football. We, we have not played... Um, I don't think a dozen snaps of regular defense all year long uh, based on the style of play that we see each and every week with the spread, you know, kind of offenses, which I think are very good offenses. And I, and I don't think just because they're spread, they don't try to run the ball. You know, I think they are very, very effective teams running the ball that do this. Um, but this is, you know, Back to the Future is really <laughs> kind of a, a good way to say it. I mean, this is really old-fashioned, hard-nosed, you know, Bo Schembechler, Woody Hayes kind of football. And um, that's something that is going to be different, you know, for our players and our preparation. Uh, in fact, it, it's, it's so different during the bye week, we spent a day on trying to review regular defense, you, you know, that, that we don't ever seem to play. But we will play it this week. Just wondering, going back and looking at the tape with the kickoff returns and the kickoff coverages, what did you see uh, specifically that kind of that, that led to some of the, the negative plays? Well, it, it, uh, 
Well, the kickoff return, first of all, we had a very good kickoff return to start the game. Uh, the first possession that we had um, out to about the 35 or 40 yard line. And, um, you know, we, we did not execute and block the people up front effectively on the other returns. Uh, and we had uh, a decent return on the one we fumbled. Uh, but we were not carrying the ball properly and fumbled the ball. Uh, kickoff coverage, um, you know, the wind situation where we had to hold the ball for the kicker. The kicker didn't kick that ball very well. You know, you'd like to see the kickoff coverage be on the 30-yard line or past when the guy catches the ball. We weren't to the 40-yard line yet uh, because the ball still blew off the tee and he still mishit the ball and it was a line drive kick. That was the first one. And then because the guy was holding, he didn't get in the proper position to safety. All right, and we had a couple guys that had an opportunity to make the play that didn't. Um, so that's an area, all, all these areas of special teams to me are areas that, you know, we're capable of playing better, we need to play better. Uh, and we have a lot of young players out there that need to make better decisions about when they block, is it a block in the back? When do I not block because I'm going to block the guy in the butt back? Uh, when do I two-gap the blocker instead of dodging the blocker? These are all things that we need to improve on. After watching the tape, seeing the secondary, just what did you see from them? Was it more what Ole Miss was doing or just some mental mistakes on you guys' side? Well, you know, Ole Miss really, we, we played pretty decent except for they had like over 80 yards on two big plays. And those two big plays, one was a 34, 35 yard touchdown pass right, where we, we didn't play the post properly. And the other one was a mental error on defense where they put trips into the boundary, three receivers into the boundary and just run them all down the field on a fastball play. All right? you know, we, and we didn't, we didn't adjust like we were supposed to and the tight end catches the ball for 50 yards. So other than those two plays, there was a couple third downs where we could have played a little better and got off the field if we had executed a little better. But other than those two plays and the last play on third and 11, you know, it really wasn't a hard play for us to make. All right? And we, we just didn't play it correctly. So, but, you know, other than that, I, 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 I we, we, we have to continue to get better because those are the plays that kill you, explosive plays, and we can't give those plays up. It doesn't do any good to play 60-some plays in a game and then two bad ones. You've got to play them all good and do the right thing so that we don't give up those big plays. Coach, you talked about Blake taking what the defense gives. You've been saying that all season. Now you look back at the film, how far away did he get from from taking that base core of taking what the defense gives. You're talking about Blake? Well, Blake's played really well for us all year long. Um, I think, you know, they did a good job of, you know, rolling the coverage up to um, where we wanted to throw the ball at times. And uh, they dropped eight guys, you know, quite a bit on passing situations. And, um, you know, Blake missed a couple explosive plays that we had guys open that we didn't get the ball to but um, a couple times on the runs you know we should have gone a different direction and didn't didn't check where we should have but you know other than that you know he did a pretty good job of executing and um, you know the last throw I mean if we don't get the penalty he wouldn't make the last throw we wouldn't even call that play um, so you know that's another penalty that had nothing to do with the play. We're going to have first down at the 18-yard line all right, with 44 seconds to go in the game and get a penalty, put us in a long yardage situation. And um, So those are the types of things that get you beat. And if we continue to do those things, we're, we're going to continue to have problems. Uh, but these things are all very correctable, and this takes a little more discipline to do what you're expected to do and what you're being coached to do and having the discipline to do it. Actually got two for you. Uh, you mentioned the two games away from here. Uh, it's been a challenge creating, you know, it, the energy 
level. Um, is there something on the road that's just inherently harder to, you know, to... Well, er, er, well, I, I, energy level is probably the not, not the right word. I was thinking more mental intensity to sustain the mental intensity and focus that you need to finish the game, play the game, play through momentum swings in the game, which the 50-yard pass that I talked about to the tight end, you know, probably changed the momentum of the game. And we never changed it back. All right, we, we, we went down and kicked a field goal. Um, opening drive of the second half, we have a good drive and come up empty because, you know, we didn't finish the drive. Um, you know, stalled out three or four times inside the 30-yard line and actually had negative plays that made it difficult field goals, which we ended up missing a couple. Um, so uh, we never really change the momentum of the game back by having the mental toughness and focus to be able to play through those things. And that's what we got to learn how to do better. And the other one I've got, um, I don't know what your relationship is. But Coach Blakeney, long time at Troy, uh, announced his retirement at the end of the season. I, I don't know if you guys know each other very well or, or what. Well, I don't know reaction. him well, but I certainly have a tremendous amount of respect for him. He's done a fantastic job there for a long, long time, and I know they've struggled a little bit the last couple of years, but. Um, you know, he's visited here a few times, and we've always had a lot of respect for uh, him and the program that he has and the success that they've had there for a long, long time. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.